what is going on you guys tutorial Tim here and today I'm going to show you how to use the unsplash figma plugin it's fairly simple so if you haven't already installed it you're going to want to go to your plugins and figma here you can browse all the plugins um, I'm just going to click browse and currently it is the most installed application or plugin so just click install and once you have it installed you can go back to whatever file you're trying to implement your images to and I'm going to start with a blank file, create a few rectangles um, that vary in size to kind of show you the flexibility of the plugin, I guess. Um, and once we have that, you're going to want to access the plugin. Go to right click, plugins, and select Unsplash. And as you can see, this little modal appears. And I'm going to kind of show you how to navigate it. It's really simple. You can use random assets and insert them but before you insert them notice that this is like a disabled state over these buttons and presets you're going to want to select something first um, you can whatever you want you can select animals and everything else displayed here there's a little bit of information about the plugin the current version of the plugin developed by Liam Martins and you can search certain things even that aren't tags so for example if I type in surf hit search I currently have this rectangle selected. I'm going to click on this picture by Sebastian Leon Prado. I'm going to select it. It'll automatically add it into the image. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to select this. I'm going to look for that. That picture is dope. Also going to click on this one. So now that we have all our images, um, you can kind of see how this Unsplash plugin works. There's pages you can look through and wait for the results to load. You can go back and forth through this, or you can just use random images. Um, yeah, so that's how it works. And if you're wondering about any constraints, um, these are all the properties for your image. Um, you can make them fit, um, fit the size of your rectangle in my case, or crop it, or use a tiled version. But I'm just gonna stick to fill for now because, because it, it's nice and responsive. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's how you install and utilize the Unsplash Figma plugin. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment and like and subscribe. Catch you later.